seems to be uh, it seems to be all on track for 13 miles in the second half. Yeah, to be honest with you, mate, um, I felt great halfway picking up my drinks. I make sure I picked up every single one of the So the last one I needed, I didn't need. It. I just wanted to finish. Um, felt good early on, and my aim is have a chat with my coach, and uh, if I can just save as much energy as I can and be on the back of the group rather than be at the front, be at the front. And that's what I try and do, and I was talking to about pacemaker and going through, felt great halfway. And then once the pacemaker took that, there was a little bit gap, and somehow I just saw the gap getting bigger, and then I tried to close and just didn't have it. How do you feel about performance in general? I'm tired, I feel like I, I gave it all, um, but it's just one of these days where you, it's what it is, you know. Congratulations on Eric, um, uh, and you're not taking away, anything away from him. Great after the run, 2 0 2 and um, he won his fourth marathon. So, was it a wake up call in a way? Some people will say, you know, you gave it your best, but you were still a bit behind. Others will say after the events of the week, it was a hard for you to fight back. I mean, what do you It's never fight back uh, for me when I'm on the line up. I'm, I'm, I'm giving everything, and I did that. I tried my hardest, but result, I thought the result was. Um, can't take anything from that. Uh, yes, I did have a, you know, a, a, a big week in terms of what's happened, but I stood by every word I said, and it's the honest truth. And uh, already a lot of people have already proven. A lot of, of, of allegations they made against you. Though. Yeah. Can you answer them? So, did you leave the hotel room, for example? Which is what Haley suggests. Sorry. Haley says you didn't pay a hotel bill. For example. Let me put it into it for you. If you had all your money stolen, what would you pay with? <laughs> Nothing, yeah. And the credit card machine doesn't work. There's even the guy in New Zealand staying here who did not run the London Marathon. I tried to pay on his card, he couldn't pay on the card. They, they closed the hotel doors and I'm sure so you no, I, think, I, think, I think the most yeah. damaging thing that he said, really, when we look at it, is that sort of the, this all started with trying to get Jam Raid and into the hotel. That's a bit How do you belt. address that? That's a bit below the belt, isn't it? But is, is, it, is, it, is it untrue? It is untrue. And then I already spoke to Gary, my coach, and my training partner Bashir, who's run a national record today, can prove it. Jake from New Zealand, who was there, he can prove it. But at the same time, let's not talk about it. Let's talk about the performance of any keep Chogi, who, you know, you can't take anything away from him. But Mo, if there is to ask one more question. question please. Well, we, I, think, I think we need more than one, but Mo, there's, if we were to ask one thing on this thing, I mean, this, this, this thing with John Raiden, it, it's, it's not going away. I mean, when was, when would you say it was the absolute last time you even saw this guy or spoke to him? Can we talk about a race? We will in a moment. Yeah, yeah, after after, 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 after the half, race. there was a 249, 249, couple 249, 250. That's when you fell back. Could you feel that pace go higher? No, I definitely felt the pace. It? Yeah, they were just going too fast. And, um, that's what it was. Do you have to change your marathon training base now? Would you, you go back to me for it? Would you go back to me for it? No, not at all. I've got great support from text messages from people who's, you know, big names in athletics well, and support me. You're not going to go back to the hotel, given why he's treated you. You're not I wouldn't go back to his place, but there's plenty of hotels and yeah. I can go back there. No, you guys, know, if you guys find a race, then so we'll move it on. Not at all. I don't regret anything, or anything I've said there, and I stood by what I said. After you got gay, that's it, that's it, everybody. Come on, it's us. Come on. Mo, after you got gap. But with the race, uh, yeah. you said on the BBC you, you did not need time to think. Yeah. Gary was asked, what are you going to do the anniversary of games, 10k? He didn't give an answer, but didn't deny it. Yeah. Is that a possibility in your mind? Maybe, maybe. 